Thank you very much. Everybody who's spoken ahead of me has emphasized the right points on how we deal with hate crimes and how we deal with hate incidents. I want to give another component of what we do in this county, and that's provide services to victims. And that goes through the San Mateo County District Attorney's Office, a division in my office that provides services to be able to reimburse people for the harm they have suffered. That includes things for physical, uh, medical bills, whatever it may be. It includes getting counseling. And that's whether the person is caught or not. We provide this service to victims of hate crimes. And that is why law enforcement will refer victims to us so that my victim services men and women can reach out and try and work through the state of California to help them uh, get the help they need with the trauma that's caused by these type of crimes. I'd also like to mention that I think if you haven't read it, every one of you should read. In yesterday's local San Mateo Daily Journal paper, there was an opinion piece that was written jointly by our Daily City Mayor, uh, Jocelyn. It was written by Wayne Lee and Mr. Chiang. It's extraordinarily well written and summarizes better than any of us could exactly what we need to fight against in this county. That article is in the hands of every member of my office because it is so poignant in what it does to remind us of how we need to stay vigilant. We can't say in a year, okay, we can relax again. That can never happen. And it does have to be the cases need to be reported to the police so they can investigate and provide it to my office so that my, the men and women who prosecute cases in my office can take those cases to court. We have very few hate crimes that we do get to receive, and a lot of it's not being reported. Over the last three years, we've had about 20 cases we've been able to charge hate crimes on. And I know there are many, many more hate crimes. And that's why exactly what everybody is saying today, we really want our citizens to feel comfortable to come forward, to be able to work and be told by their neighbors, you've got to take this to the police. We don't want this to be the hidden crime because that's what the culprits want. That's why they pick on vulnerable people. That's why the elderly, you've seen so many of these crimes are against our elderly because they know that they, may, they don't want to get involved in it because of fear. And the answer is we need to eliminate that barrier, let them feel that trust that exists in everybody. And I really appreciate what is being done today. I appreciate Sam Mateo for what you're doing, Supervisor Canapa for what he is uh, doing and what most important, what all our chiefs are doing. And we can create an impediment here. We can do what we want to do, which is to say to anybody who would think of doing this, San Mateo County is not the place to do it because there will be a response from all components of our society. So thank you all very much and thank you to everybody behind.